It's 3 a.m. and you're awakened by that sound. Now I'll get back to that in a second. But first, I'd like to talk to you all about what it means to be a good roommate. To be a good roommate, one must respect others' property and respect others' schedules. Now there's plenty of benefits for being a good roommate. You know, have a healthier and a happier environment. And when you live with friends instead of enemies, it allows for an ideal setting for emotional and intellectual growth. Pursuing relationships is a lifelong skill that we build here at college. Now the way I'm going to show you how to be a good roommate is by showing you examples of bad roommates, or what I like to call roodies. <laughs> okay, I guess that's not going to work. Instead, I'll share you a personal anecdote. Last year, I was still uncomfortable with the idea of my age kid being out until about 3 a.m. So in the first month of classes, I would try and stay up and wait for my roommate. This lasted for about two or three weeks, and finally I said, you know what, he's a grown man, can take care of himself, I'm going to bed. So I sleep on my top bunk, and about 4 a.m. I'm awakened by that crashing thud, and I look over, and sticking out of my roommate's closets are a silhouette of his arms and legs, because he had passed out and fallen asleep in his closet. To which I said, ha! I will take care of this in the morning. Go back to sleep, roll over about 11 a.m., and when I go to check in the closet, he's not there. And I say, uh-oh. I look down, he managed to throw himself into his bed, and when I say that, what I mean is, he threw his head and his arm in his bed. The rest was still sprawled out gently across the floor. And again, ha, huh, I looked against the wall, and usually where my refrigerator's flat, it's tilted out about halfway. On top of that, the microwave is out a little bit further. And on top of that, where there should be a rear surround sound speaker, there's no speaker. And I looked down, and somehow, when he threw himself into his bed, he managed to unplug our refrigerator. So sitting face down in a puddle of thawed ice water is my rear surround sound speaker. I am livid, and I'm trying not to get upset, and I call my dad, who gave me the speakers, and he goes, Tyler, he's laughing at me, he says, Tyler, put it in a bag of rice all day, carry it around, and see if it works. And I say, all right, fine. And the whole time my roommate's like, I'm so sorry, you know, half-hearted, crocodile tears, whatever. And throughout all day, our circles of friends keep passing around campus. And his circle of friends are nudging him like, man, what did you do to Tyler? And all my friends are like, this is so funny. And I'm like, this isn't funny. It was actually hysterical because I had a bag of rice. And I hook it up at the end of the day, and it works. And I'm, I'm completely relieved. And you know, it was a growing experience. Because I learned I'm not going to be able to control my roommate, and he learned to better respect my things. So when we cooperate with our roommates, instead of this, as you can see Kofi Kingston throwing CM Punk to a steel floor, we get this. CM Punk is actually tag team champions with Kofi Kingston. I hope I convinced you guys how not to be a Rudy, and I hope we can all benefit from being the best roommates possible. Thank you. <laughs>